So let's review what we just learned above. The whole point of, of a cascading style sheet is to remove the code from within the HTML file. So if you can think of this right here as my HTML document, um, and this is outlined by an actual file somewhere on your hard drive or you know your web server. So this is a web page, and maybe at the top it says hello in really big letters. And then below it, there's some you know content, maybe some lists, um, maybe there is you know a picture of something um, and some more wording. So in order to make this hello appear in a large format, um, you use something called an h1 tag. Okay, so you've seen this before. It's h1, and then any content you have um, after the h1 tag will get the uh, formatting applied to it okay so that's something that happens inside of your HTML code now there's other things that you can do to this hello text like perhaps you want to make it a different color in order to achieve the actual changing of the color of the actual words that appear on an HTML document um, can be done in a couple of different ways one way is the non CSS way is to give an attribute to your h1 tag and the attribute is called style okay so you'll say style equals and then in quotes you give it the color so you define the color that you actually want to have the text be which in this case is red okay and there you go and then you just need to close your h1 tag like you always need to do with the HTML tags and then any text that you place between those tags will be read like you see here now this is the non CSS way okay so non CSS this is actually inputting the code this style code directly into your HTML file and sometimes that gets a little bit messy when you have a very large HTML file so that's where CSS comes in now what we're going to do is we're going to separate the actual style code from the HTML document. So let's pretend we still have our HTML document and we still have a, um, a you know the contents in there with the big hello and you know the um, the image and the text and what have you. Um, and this is your HTML file. Now instead of having the um, the style code inside of the HTML file we're going to pull that out and transfer it into its own file okay and this is going to be a dot CSS file obviously that stands for cascading style sheet and within this file all you'll just write out is just plain text and for the example that we were talking about before for changing the color of the um, the header here all we need to do is specify special um, instructions to change the h1 tags properties okay so we define an h1 inside of our CSS file we open up our curly braces and close and within we just put the same color or same code that we had before which was color with the colon and red and we close the semicolon so now we have this um, this code here that defines that with any h1 that appears we want the color to be red and what happens is when we link this CSS file into the HTML document via the link tag that I showed you above, um, we will successfully turn this into a red hello. Piece of cake.